now we have the, the big debate uh, among us cellists what to do with the mysterious chorale at the end of this movement. One thing that we do know from Bach himself is that he did not appreciate when performers would improvise too much to his music. We, it's actually documented. Um, and Bach himself writes out a lot of ornamentation. He writes out a lot of trills, various kinds of trills. There's a, one of my favorites is in the fifth suite of Bach, which I'm not going to talk about today. <laughs> but, you know, even in this, in this suite, we have, you know, in Anna Magdalena's version, we have some trills written out. And, um, and certainly plenty of figuration and imaginative sort of fantasy on all these various very simple building blocks that we've been talking about. So I personally like to keep it very simple at the end, and I generally perform this movement with the chorale because I think it's so stark to suddenly be faced with just these dotted half notes and suddenly these three voices very clearly and this idea that actually this whole movement has been a chorale all along, that, that uh, it's, it's not your ordinary movement. So there's, there's something embedded, uh, in, hidden in this, in this movement. I also think that when, when you take out those 60 notes and the eighth notes and all, all, all of these notes that have been flowing through the movement, suddenly, again, you, there's a sense of loss. You have to face the vulnerability of this bare structure of, of, of this chorale. So we have... Of course, there's so many ways of breaking these chords. Um, you could break them quickly. You could break them with the upper voice on the beat, which is probably not a very Baroque way of, of approaching it. There are no rests. So when you do the retakes, you have to sort of judge, you know, how, how big a circle do you want to make? You know, if I'm going to do a big circle. Putting a lot of rests in there, and I don't want that. So I'm, so I'm actually thinking, instead of a circle, I'm thinking very much of a, a very... Um, uh, an oval <laughs> shape. I'm not a swimmer, but I, I think that if you think of it, you know, of the kind of breath that you need to take when you're underwater and, and you continue swimming, that's what we're doing with the, the upper arm, upper right arm. It, it very much acts as my lung, and I'm, I'm thinking of breathing in between these dotted half notes, which for me have a, a certain power all on down bows. <laughs> I'm also thinking about the kind of momentum that I need for that retake. And so the, when I get to the top of the, of the triad, I start with as slow a bow as I possibly can m manage. And then I'm increasing the, the speed so that instead of having to work hard at the tip, I'm generating that growth and the, the blossoming of the, of the sound with bow speed. And that bow speed helps create that momentum back to, to, the, to the frog and, and helps me with my very quick circle back to the down bow. So 
that's those are a few solutions. But of course, if if you know, so many people love to improvise here, and you're welcome. <laughs> You know, whatever whatever suits your fancy. <laughs> At the end, it's it's open game. But just remember that Bach didn't love it. So if you do it, if you if you do do something, do it tastefully. <laughs> That's all I can say. If we think about those bass notes that we talked about before, if you prioritize those, I think it's really wonderful to for some of those to arrive on the downbeat and work from there and see see what kind of break, whether it's single voices or single plus double plus double. So you're getting some double stops in there or, you know, whatever speed. And that's not something that I can tell you. You have to, as a player, you have to sort of decide on your own after sort of experiencing the tension and resolution of these of these chords at the end. So I, uh... I think the first one is pretty dramatic for me, so I, I roll it fairly quickly. And I'd like to end... with the bare simplicity of just a single voice as we started the piece. <laughs> 